Hey what's up guys, it's OneFly here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to get the Dark Ops calling card reach round 20 without getting hit, social distancing. And without all that, let's get right into this video. The first thing you're going to want to do is open your way to the top of Noct and do that strategy for a while. Uh, I do it until about 14,000 points and then you want to buy your way all the way to the power. Once you activate the power, do all the steps to get the pack a punch and get that. Just a quick tip by the way, you can buy your perks uh, in the dark ether from the Wonder Fizz and uh, it actually doesn't matter what round you're on and if you're and if the round accidentally ends whenever you're in uh, dark ether, then you can also be on top of Noct. So that is a quick tip. By the way, I'm definitely going to add that you should definitely probably without a doubt use the gallo sa12 for this it, it just kind of melts if you have the right attachment and definitely ring of fire i mean i just easily killed those megatons with this gun in ring of fire so that's definitely the thing i'd recommend running just for regular zombies and megatons because it does so much damage once you spend a bit more time getting points up there, I definitely re recommend that you get Speed Cola and also not to buy the perks Juggernaut and Quick Revive because since you're since you aren't going to be getting hit, those actually those perks don't actually do anything. So just buy all the other perks than that. And uh, once you buy all the perks, I'd recommend you'd probably have enough salvage by then to upgrade the rarity on your gun and also pack a bunch. And the very important perk for the strategy is definitely Deadshot Daiquiri and speed cola too because uh you have to reload fast to be able to maintain up there but if you have your deadshot daiquiri upgraded to the max tier with your ethereum crystals then if a zombie is full health and you hit a headshot when they're full health then that's going to do double your gun damage and that is very useful which it's usually going to one shot uh if your gun is at least decent and it's the gal so once you end up getting your gun upgraded, it should be very easy to hold up here. I just recommend standing a little bit back so that the zombies don't quickly run out of the barrier and hit you because that has happened. So just be careful about any runners that are quickly jumping out of the barriers because they are definitely very dangerous in something like that. And uh, another thing is don't feel like you're safe whenever you're saving a zombie because that can also be very dangerous. I think that actually happened to me like almost uh, a couple times in this, so be very careful to. Once you get all that set up, I de definitely recommend buying all your perks, and then I specifically recommend that for the side upgrade or the the elemental upgrade that you can choose in the pack punch machine. I definitely recommend that you do electric or dead wire simply because it does a ton of damage against the megatons which are your main enemy in this and you probably won't have enough salvage to afford crafting a chopper gunner every single time they come around. So we're just going to be killing them with our base gun as it does to a ton of damage. All right. The best thing to do for dog rounds as well is to still sit on top of the Noct and just get as far back as you possibly can. If you can get some, if you are using the Gallo, which I highly recommend, you should use some type of barrel attachment to allow you to shoot farther as they will only come from in front of, in front of you and nowhere else. And uh, the main thing that I haven't even mentioned is to never buy the barrier behind you. That will absolutely ruin the strat and zombies will come up behind you. So if you do that, then you may as well restart your game because it's going to be very hard to get this challenge done with this strategy if you open that door behind you. So, yeah. Once about round 15 or 16 starts, uh, one of your main enemies comes up and that is the dogs. The dogs end up start spawning with the zombies and uh, like I said, they will just only come in front of you however there's just straight up speed is kind of crazy so that's why i not only for the zombies but definitely stay back for the hellhounds too because they can be uh very vicious and uh also another tip i didn't mention is that the ring of fire another reason you want it is because it blocks the actual uh the things that the megaton shoot at you and it won't let you damage them it won't let them damage you which is very helpful if not only the damage bus boost because as you can see here, I'm just absolutely melting the Megaton, and he's already dead, and he's no longer a problem. And that's all of round 16. So, uh, yeah. Once you have your Gallo pack once or twice, or end with the electric upgrade, you should be easily killing the zombies. The zombies shouldn't be very much of a problem for you if you are staying back. 
So uh, just keep your distance and have some kind of attachment to help your barrel. And by around, by around round 17 or 18, you pretty much got it down and you just have to never let your guard down for a dog or a zombie because they're just quickly push up and kill you. And especially for a megaton to just randomly spawn and hit you because that's, that's definitely something you don't want. And probably the thing that's m most dangerous. So for the end of round 18, you don't see me do it here because I thought you had to complete round 20, which is actually not the case. You just need to get to the beginning of round 20 and you get the calling card awarded. But for the end of round 19, I'd re or round 18, I'd recommend that you save a zombie and you should have enough scrap by now to go buy a chopper gunner. And uh, basically, like right when the round starts, you're going to pull the chopper gunner out on round 19. And if there's a megaton, just make sure to focus on that. In my game, there wasn't, but it's pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's possible so uh, keep your eyes out for that and the chopper gunner the zombies don't actually run inside of knocked with this strategy so they kind of just sit on the roof and behind uh, a tarp I believe it is above you so it should be very easy to just kill large amounts of them which should end up ending the round in the end which means that you will secure your calling card here is some footage of me actually acquiring the common calling card I just went and grabbed my chopper gunner actually right now because I didn't know that you got it just by reaching round 20 but uh yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you get this calling card which is really nice i must say and uh yeah if it did help you or you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help out the channel a lot and i'm out